Hello and welcome to this text tool tutorial with the GIMP. I'm going to show you today how you can do a very very simple text and apply a drop shadow. So to get started go to File, New and you get the option to pick a template from a drop down menu. We'll go for 640 by 480. Click on it or you can enter in the width and height yourself. We're using pixels, OK. And then grab the toolbox and what you want to look for is the A, that's the text tool. Click on it, to activate it. Click on your file and you'll get this little pop-up box. So in there type in your text, whatever you want to right I'll put high there don't bother clicking close because it keeps popping up as we're working on it so no point really then get the toolbox and the options you have are to change the font so click on the little box next to the font and if you scroll through them you'll see all the different styles of the um, fonts Small fonts. There we go. Anyway, you can scroll through and pick whichever one suits you. And then below the font, you've got the option to change the size. And you could do this by clicking the little arrows, makes it smaller. Click up, makes it bigger. Or you can write in yourself the size. You can use pixels, inches, millimeters, points and so on. And then here you've got the colour. So if you click on that you get this colour picker come up. You've got the sidebar here with all your different colours. Pink, green, red, orange, blue. And here you can drag it around change the shade so if you click OK, okay there it changes the colour of the text let's pick a red yeah, drag it around click OK and there you go you can see that changes the colour and then you've got this justify option here that if you just click it changes to left, right, centre and that's it really, that's how you use the text tool very, very simply. If you want to apply a um, drop shadow, go to filter, come down to light and shadow, come along to drop shadow, it's pop up box again, and you've got offset X, set that to, to set at 10, we'll leave it at 10. Offset Y again, set at 10, blue ra radius at 15, and then you've got the colour option. Same thing, drag it around, and you can pick the drop shadow colour, click OK, and then you've got opacity, which is set at 80, click OK. And that's it, you get a nice drop shadow. And if you don't like the drop shadow, go to Edit, Undo, Filter, Light and Shadow, Drop Shadow, and then I'm designing, I like um, the Offset X to be set at 5, Offset Y at 5 again, Blue Radius at 15, Colour set to Black, OK. Capacity at 80, click OK, and there you are, you have it, you're done. Cheers for watching.